what's up new people is yours truly Dapoulis and oh I'm having a fantastic day guys today in this video I want to discuss about something called market manipulation so what exactly is market manipulation this is basically when you get into a trade your predictions are correct but your stop losses get stopped out before the market goes in your direction it is something called market manipulation and there are some forces behind this that a lot of traders are actually not familiar with so today that's exactly what i want to discuss with you guys i'm going to be jumping on my desk pretty soon but i just decided to you know just chill in my living room not every time stay on my desk be having blah, blah, blah. anyways guys i'm going to take you to my desk very soon but um today is a really nice sunny day in dubai and i think today is saturday as i when i'm recording this video guys outside right outside my balcony is the poolside and trust me girl trust me guys the girls they are mm, oh my god <laughs> People ask me, why do you spend so much money paying? Two, why do you spend $2,000 every month paying for this apartment? I'm like, guys, because it has the best balcony views of the pool with the most beautiful women in the world, bro. Anyways, back to what I was saying, guys. Let's jump on my desk. Let's talk about Forex trading. In this video, I want to share with you guys how to overcome market manipulation, how to position your trades in such a way you rarely get stopped out, the best place to put your stop losses and stuff like that so guys if you're interested in this stick around while we go to my desk uh for those of you who want to see some the girls outside um, i'm gonna see should i do a quick b-roll of that i'll think about it if you don't see it you don't see it if you see it you see it anyways guys let's go all right people welcome inside of my desk yes i'm back on my desk now guys i'm not gonna to waste too much time here um i'm gonna be jumping right into my charts because this segment or rather this video is going to be more practical okay um i need to show you guys the concept of market manipulation like i said why you keep getting stopped out and all the other stuff and how to protect yourself how to position your trade in such a way whereby you don't keep getting stopped out but guys i don't know why i'm so excited today i don't know maybe it's the weather maybe it's i don't know what it is but yes um market manipulation guys I, I tell you what i used to be a victim to market manipulation like i'll get the trade right i'll get the direction right but the entries once again to the trade the market just stop me out and then go in my direction it is so depressing it makes me it makes me so sad i used to cry be like oh my god like who is chasing me this my village people are chasing me oh my god you know we africans we were so superstitious anyways guys let us go into my screen right about now let's go let's go let's go let's go all right guys and welcome inside of my screen now um like i said i needed to use some charts to show you guys um first of all explain to you guys the concept of market manipulation why you keep getting stopped out all the damn time and possibly how to come back from or rather how to ensure that your trades don't keep getting stopped out um, by the market makers and the investment banks but before i proceed into that let me quickly explain to you guys what ma the market money what, what the market manipulation concept is about now a lot of people feel like their forex brokers are after them a lot of people feel like oh when they get into a trade somebody's chasing them somebody's after them um this is one of the psychological effects from taking a lot of losses <laughs> you start to feel like somebody's after you somebody's chasing me i've seen a lot of people tell me i don't like my broker i'm like what's wrong with your broker like uh, every time i get into a trade i feel like they, they they're jumping in uh, rather they are um I feel like they are, what's it called? I feel like they are kind of like taking the other side of my trade. The honest truth is brokers have nothing. Sorry, let me adjust my camera. In this case, brokers are not the culprits. The culprits in this case are actually the investment banks, the hedge funds, the big boys who move the market. These are the people who are um, responsible for running stops. These are the people who when you get into trades on lower time frames, these are the people that make sure that your trade gets stopped out before it goes in your direction. Now, today I'm gonna to be illustrating and demonstrating to you guys why this happens, okay? So that you know exactly how to protect yourself. So, as you can see, I have a very blank chart in front of me. I'm gonna be using diagrams to, 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 to illustrate what I'm trying to express to you guys. Um, so I want you guys to sit back and really listen and understand what exactly it is I'm trying to teach you guys here. So, let's give um, a, a, a classic scenario. Um, whereby so you have to understand that most of these guys um that work for the investment banks hedge funds and stuff like that 
these guys have sophisticated market equipment that retail traders, retail traders being you and I, don't have access to. They know this stuff really well. Um, so they have access to all these things um, and they can pretty much see where all the stop losses are. Okay, they can see based on volume. Okay, they can see where your stop losses are, your take profits are and stuff like that based on volume. Okay, so they can see, you know, or where the pending orders are. And just by common sense, they can pretty much tell where retail traders will most likely get into a trade. So let me demonstrate this with some diagram, diagrams. So let's take this to be a resistance level. Now, for those of you guys who learned how to trade from all these seminars and baby pips and stuff like that, um, you're, you were most likely taught some very basic concepts about Forex, which is okay and not okay at the same time. And I'll explain to you why. Now, you, most Forex traders who are in the game, 99% of Forex traders who are in the game are taught to sell at resistance levels. They're taught to sell in regions like about here. And theoretically, there's nothing wrong with this because if the market has resisted this level a couple of times, so let me give you an example. If the market has resisted this level a couple of times, like as you can see right about here, market has resisted this level a couple of times, like about here, um, I mean, why not? If this market is pulling back into this region about here, I mean, it looks like, you know, this this is looking like a very clear cut sell trade. You know, this is a double top. Everything is looking nice. Why not? You know, the average retail trader, the average trader who has studied the market and studied seminars and baby pips should be selling about here. This is a double top. This is a classic, fantastic sell trade. Okay. However, um, because of the fact that mass human psychology is thinking the same thing, that gives the investment banks, the hedge funds, the boys who move the market, an edge over us because everybody's thinking the same thing. So if everybody's wanting to sell at this level about here, what does that mean for our stop losses? It means that our stop losses will be somewhere about here. This is this is what they teach you, Forex 101, okay? This is what they teach you. This is what I learned when I was learning how to trade. This is standard practical stuff. This is why you hear me when I preach on the Forex Mastery course that as much as you have read from every aspect, as much as you have gone to different seminars, nothing beats experience in this market, nothing. Because you'll find out that what you have read isn't always applicable in real life. And that's exactly why I put the course together. Because on the course is me speaking from 10 years worth of experience. And also I have a module on market manipulation as well. For those of you who haven't grabbed it, click the link below to grab it. But that's not why I'm here today. So I learned how to do this from baby pips. Double top resistance level sell. Stop losses above previous highs. Okay, 15 pips, 20 pips, 30 pips above previous highs. And it's time for us to go selling. Like I said, they don't need a rocket scientist to tell them that this level is looking like a strong level. Retail traders will most likely be interested in this level and they're going to be putting their stop losses above previous highs. Good. Now, what usually happens is you'll find out that you would get into your trade about here. When you sell the market about here. The market will probably push down a bit lower for you, give you some pips. This is psychological warfare. <laughs> Mess with your head a little bit. Give you some pips. And then you close your phone, you close your laptop, you're like, yes, this market is going to go to my direction. Targets are already here. This is a no-brainer. Forex 101, clear as a baby. Even a baby can tell what the market is going to do next. It's going to come down. And then for some strange reason, you now see a bullish engulfing candle take the market back into your entry. Now, this, this time you're like, I thought this thing was coming down. And then before you know what's happening, the market is chasing the previous resistance again. And then you're saying to yourself, okay, right, that's fine. Um, that's absolutely fine. Um, not a problem. I'm just going to, maybe it's a triple top. And then the market just keeps surging and surging and surging and surging at this time guys blood is running to your brain rather blood is running from your brain your head goes cold 
Guys, this is to happen to me. My head will just go cold. I'm like, ah. Oh. Every morning you wake up, you're checking your phone, your MT4, you're checking, you're checking, you know, you're checking to make sure what exactly is happening, what exactly is happening, what exactly is happening. You're checking your MT4, you're like, oh, more. Every time you open the MT4, the quote, you know, you're looking at the price, the price has gone higher by 10 pips, 20 pips, 30 pips, 40 pips. And then you open your chart and then you're so close to getting stopped out and then eventually you get stopped out. You're like, oh my God. And then before you know what's happening, the market gets here and then the market gets here and then before you know what's happening. What actually tends to happen before the market even starts to reverse? So you're saying to yourself, okay, since I've gotten stopped out at this point, that means the market wants to go higher. And then in your, little, in your mind as a trader, you start looking for the next resistance level, maybe somewhere above here, and then you want to start buying. You want to start buying. And then... You start buying, you buy, and next thing you find out that after you bought, the, the market now comes back down to your profit, take profit level. So you have lost money with this stop loss, and this buy trade that you bought here was expecting, market has come back down here, okay, and has stopped you out twice. So you have two losing trades. And at this point, you're frustrated. Now, for a lot of people that have small trading accounts, when you have a small trading account, you can't really use adequate risk management, right? So you're thinking to yourself, ah, maybe you've probably blown 40% of your account, 50% of your account on this trade. Because, I mean, on the first trade, it looked like a no-brainer. This thing was supposed to come down and touch your Why? Like, what the hell is happening? You're down 50%. You're sad. You don't know what to do. You start clicking other pairs and this is exactly where the mistakes start to happen and before you know what's happening your account is blown now ladies and gentlemen um sit back and relax i want to explain to you guys why this happens okay i want to explain to you guys the rationale behind market manipulation you guys really need to listen to this once again for those of you who haven't grabbed the forex mastery course the link is going to be down below um, obviously, I explain this in more detail in the course for the students as well. But I'm going to try my best in this video to illustrate and demonstrate and help you guys out. Okay? Um, if I, I might not put in all the information here, um, obviously, because it's quite exclusive to the Forex Mastery course, students are not going to be happy if I do that. But I'll definitely try my best to explain the concept to you guys very well. Okay? So, what is the concept behind market manipulation? It is nothing more than investment banks wanting to make more money so let's go into finance and banking just a little bit i'll break it down for you guys so that you guys understand what the rationale behind this is so a lot of traders will call a resistance level an order block they will call it an order block right um they'll call it supply and demand they have so many names for it i call them key zones because i don't think they are order blocks because if they were order blocks, the market shouldn't be breaking through them because markets break through support and resistance every single day, um, like they were not they, like they didn't exist. If they were order blocks, the orders should at least, you know, the market should at least respect those orders to a certain extent. But I've seen the market break through support and resistance like it never even existed. So I don't believe in the word order blocks, supply and demand. I I call them key levels. That way, if a key level is broken, then Shit, you didn't respect the key level. It's up to the next one. Okay, so that's the way I think about it, right? So, this is a key level. Okay, you are watching this level very closely. Okay, guys, listen to what I'm saying. This will really help your trading, transform your life even. So, this is a key level. The market has come in here for a double top. Um, the market has come in here for a double top. And then like I said, you're not the only one watching this key level. The banks are watching this key level as well. Now, this is how investment banking works for traders who... Why is my thing not wanting to move? I can't move this thing right. It's annoying. Ugh. Behave yourself. Now, this is exactly how investment banking works. Now, I've worked in an investment bank before. Um, when I was a student in Coventry University, I did, I did a pretty short internship. So... What it is is at the at the bank we would receive an order to buy maybe maybe a significant amount of euros 
against the dollar. We can buy the, the currency pair. Maybe we have a big client that wants to hedge their exposure. Uh, what does this mean? Maybe they are in, maybe they are trading in cotton or coffee, and they don't. They are not comfortable with their exposure to the market in that commodity. So they will give us a call behind the scenes of this market you're seeing. That's what I'm trying to explain to you. They'll give us a call and they'll be like, okay, we would like to buy some maybe 1 million units of the Euro USD so that we can hedge our bets. We can hedge our exposure to a parallel market. So we would receive the phone call and we'll be like, okay, so for instance, this is AUD USD, the pair. I want you guys to listen to what I'm saying very carefully here. So... They have told us that, so we asked them, at what price would you want us to make this transaction happen? And we will tell, they will tell us, they want, for instance, let's say they want, they want us to make this transaction happen at, at let's say, um, at, let's say, they want this. Okay, so this is, reverses the case here. So this is short sell. Now, guys, please work with me. I want you guys to open your mind. So they're calling us and they're like, okay, we want to short the euro to, this, to the tune of 1 million units. Now, for the fact that they want to short, actually, what I'm going to do is let me flip this chart around. Because if I use short selling in this situation, it might confuse a lot of traders, okay? I want to flip this around. Let's flip it to the buy scenario, okay? Because when it's buy, a lot of people, it's a lot easier for people to, but once I start saying short sell, 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 short sell, people might get confused. I don't want that. So like I said, this is the support level. The, the, the case works to every direction, okay? Support level, you've seen support trades whereby the market has come into your support and then, you know, you try to buy it here and then before you know what's happening, the market just dips even further, dips even further and then before stops you out before the market now eventually starts heading in your direction. Now, what I'm trying to explain is what is what is that what what happens around this region that makes this happen? Okay, so that you know what what to do next time you see it, right? So, back to what I was saying. Now, um, for instance, we've gotten a call that they want to buy AUD one million units of AUD USD, and we're going to ask them, okay, at what price do you want us to fill this order? Now, clients are very, very adamant about their price because if the price shifts a bit, they lose a significant amount of money. Now, the client can tell us that, okay, um, they want us to fill at, they're probably looking at their charts as well. They're looking at the, not necessarily charts, but they're looking at reports, their screen. They can see where the key levels are. They're telling us that they want us to fill the orders at 0.65529. And that's exactly at this level about here good now don't forget we're filling 1 million units if we fill 1 million units 1 million units if we do the translation might be half a billion dollars in value if we value how much dollars we're going to as in how much of the money we're going to put into the market to buy AUD USD. so it's half a billion dollars a significant amount of money the orders are always massive okay so now, the, we're going to say to ourselves at the bank that, whilst I was working there, we'll say to ourselves, like, if we buy one, $500 million worth of AUD USD at this level, knowing fully well that the whole world is also buying at this level as well, if we buy here, we will not be able to fulfill. Now, this is the investment banks thinking. They won't, let's say they, because I don't work for them anymore. They won't be able to fulfill all their orders at this level. They won't be able to fulfill all that because if they did come to put in all their, if me, you, everybody's buying here, by the time, and my our orders are small, so our orders will get filled instantly. Our brokers will fill our order. <laughs> Empty for me. <laughs> we bought. But they, it's a different process. Because it's a lot of money. So by the time they're able to fill their orders, the market has moved away from their desired entry price about here, probably around here, that their client specified to them. Now, that's a loss for them because who covers the difference in price? So they have to find a way to ensure that they fulfill the orders at this level or even cheaper which is down here 
So do you know what they do? At this level, they will see, okay, retail traders are looking to buy at this level. We can't buy at this level. So what are we going to do? We need to find a way for AUD USD to become even cheaper so that by the time we start buying, the market, by the time we start buying and the market starts to rise, we would have been able to fulfill all our orders before it gets to the price that the client gave us and potentially even make more money. Because if, for instance, something is $1 and your client has told you to make sure you buy it at $5, okay? If you buy it at $3, you've made $2 on top before it gets to $5. Do you get what I mean? If you're able to get it at $3, the client, you, but you tell the client I bought it at $5, everybody's okay because the client has specified $5. But if the client tells you to buy it at $5 and you are able to get in at $8, you have to pay that $3. That's the way it works. So this is exactly what they do. It's called induced selling. They will notice that all the retail traders have started buying around here, buying, 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 buying. Do you know what they'll do? They'll allow all the retail money come in here. And then out of the $500 million, they will now inject $100 million to $150 million into the market, selling AUD USD, putting pressure at this region, pushing it further. They will push it. Or they will allow traders to think that this level has held. Sorry, guys, I need to demonstrate this properly. Stay with me, guys. This is very, you, like, this is some shit you never hear anywhere. So they will do something like this. They will allow the retail traders to think that the market, everything is all good, all well and good. Then they will drop a massive sell. 150 to 200 million dollars and then they will push the market down here now something interesting happens around this region now think about it guys i want you guys to be very logical open your mind you're all traders watching this very important now think about this when you buy when you buy here what is underneath here it's your stop loss right now think about this logically what is the opposite of a buy I bought AUDUSD. In order for me to leave AUDUSD, I have to close my trade, right? Forget about selling short because selling in Forex is not actually selling. We are shorting the market. Short means making money when the price goes down. I'm not talking about that. When you buy AUDUSD, your stop loss represents closing the trade, right? So what you're actually doing is you are exiting the trade. So that stop loss is technically a sell trade so what they can see is at this point here they can see a lot of sell orders around here i'll explain this thing like five times so you must you guys must understand this concept you have to understand because it will make you a wiser trader i'll take it again they have induced this market down so that it can come to the stop loss region where there are a lot of sell orders. Why? So that there are enough orders around here to, don't forget, they want to buy. Now, if you get to a point whereby there are a lot of sell orders, it is a lot easier for them to fulfill their orders because your stop losses will be absorbing their will be absorbing their buy trades because there will not be a lot of stop loss, stop loss, stop loss, stop loss, and then they'll just be buying. This way, the market doesn't shake that much. This way, there's somewhat of an equilibrium because as they are feeling, as they are going into the market to buy AUD USD, okay, as they're going into the, don't forget, and don't, don't, don't misunderstand me, their inducement trade, they close it out. They will now come here where all the stop losses are technically sales are and even here even about, apart from the stop loss don't forget traders believe that after you break a stop after you break a key level for instance like here they feel like oh the next 
the next logical thing for you to do is sell the market wants to come down because think about if you try to buy here the market doesn't go up and it starts coming down you want to start selling so you have traders that want to start selling because they got stopped out you have traders who were waiting for this level to break in the first place so that they can start selling and you also have traders that have stop losses here which is technically a sell so this region is a sea of sell orders perfect area for them to now come in with their buys and their buys will get fulfilled at an even better price so there's equilibrium so they would have sacrificed a hundred million dollars induced the market to a, an area of a lot of orders a lot of sell orders that can fulfill their own orders that's what i'll be looking for fulfill their own orders so they will induce the market take it to an area of sell this then they will now come with their remaining 400 million dollars and mop up all the sell orders mop up everything with their buys and then they will now you will now start to see them they will be dropping the money and then you start to see the market surge all the way to the upside they what they've done is they've sacrificed a hundred million dollars out of the 500 million dollars that they gave to them to execute the trade best believe they probably made 300 million dollars profit because if they sacrifice a hundred million for instance like i was saying five dollars your client told you buy this at five dollars what you've done is you use one dollar or rather you get in at one dollar you spend some money getting at one dollar and then you get in at one dollar so that by the time the market gets to three dollar um 2.5 or three dollars you've recovered the amount of money you spent to drive the price down so from three dollars to five dollars it's all profit for you i know this is quite complex it's banking but this is the rationale behind market manipulation i'm going to summarize this thing properly and i'm going to teach you guys how to go about positioning yourselves in such a way whereby this thing doesn't affect you guys once you understand this when i keep talking that lower time frames are subject to a lot of market manipulation people think i'm crazy people think i'm crazy because these investment banks usually come to fulfill clients orders on 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 lower time frames so they will spike the market up and down the whole place to weed out retail traders getting the best price possible make their money and get out they do this on a daily basis okay higher time frame is always ideal because that is when they're coming to stake longer term positions this is when they're coming to direct the market in its path is the, the, the higher time frames are a lot they're not subject to a lot of noise but for those of you who trade lower time frames you need to listen to this let me quickly run and i'll show you guys how to combat this let me quickly explain this to you guys one more time simple double um support level pushes up my guy is trying to buy here he wants to buy here he buys the market gives him some profit next thing shh, down here market makers have push no market makers investment bank have spent a hundred million dollars to induce sales to come down here so that they can come and buy up the market at a better price that their clients gave to them because there's a lot of sell orders here that can fulfill their buy orders why because if they buy here with everybody else that is buying the market will react this is the ideology behind market manipulation and then before you know what's happening they buy at the best price possible and they keep buying and everybody now jumps on all the retail traders everybody now realizes okay the market won't start going up everybody now starts buying all the way to the upside but by this time by this time you have um lost your you have lost probably about 50 percent of your account you're scared to get into the market you just let the trade go you just by this by the time the market rallies up in the direction you wanted it to go you are now scared you don't want to touch the market you're freaked out you're just sad and all that kind of thing okay so guys this is pretty much the the rationale behind market manipulation i'm going to draw it one more time so that you guys understand now the the issue here is how do we combat this issue how do we position ourselves in such a way whereby so this is the, the impulse leg that came in this is the this is the that's why i always advise that you guys should not be trading around key levels and then this happens stops you out and then the market goes in the direction it was supposed to go happens all the time happens on a daily basis i see it happen a lot of traders complain to me about it this that that that, that you know stuff like that now 
how do we go about combating it? Now, the, the ideology is very simple, okay? Absolutely very simple. So, this is exactly what you do, okay? Um, you want to understand, once you understand the concept, okay? Just, if you don't understand the concept, rewind. Because now I'm about to tell you guys what to do, okay? Hey guys, sorry to cut this video short right about here. But, um, whilst my team was editing the video, they found out that what i was about to show you guys here on youtube is actually on the forex mastery course it's an exclusive module called market manipulation and to be honest i don't think it is fair for um, me to put that out for on here obviously i'm talking about the strategy to overcome market manipulation which i was just about to share with you guys um it's actually a module on the forex mastery platform i think it's module six Okay, so because of that reason, I will not be able to share with you the strategy that I use to come back or rather combat market manipulation, entries, exit, all that kind of stuff. I'm sorry, I really can't share that here because you have to understand that people have invested $99 to buy the program and it won't be fair if I'm giving everything away for free already. Um, we have students who are complaining that I give away too much on my YouTube channel. So if you want to find out more about how to combat market manipulation, I suggest you get the program. Once again, the link is going to be down here or somewhere around here. It's just 99 bucks. Now for the Forex Mastery students who are watching this, all you need to do is simply go back to Willis University look out for that module again and then watch it because it's possible that you might have watched it before and then you just skip past it watch it again because in that video we go over the causes of market manipulation why they occur like I just explained to you guys right about here and then in that module I provide a solution as well once again my YouTube followers my YouTube subscribers I'm really sorry but I cannot share the solution to this problem with you guys right here on YouTube I hope you guys understand this um, but I'll continue to share as much information as I can for free and then but most importantly I want you guys to rather most importantly I hope you guys were able to understand why market manipulation happens how it occurs um, and hopefully you guys come on the program so that you can actually find out how to go about combating it once again it's yours truly I love you guys very much I try to be as transparent as possible but for this time around Forex Mastery student, you know I have to give you guys priority, okay? So, um, once again, I'll catch you guys in my subsequent videos. Take it easy and peace out.